What is going on YouTube? Steven the Beast here, uh, checking out another video. And uh, as you can see, this is my first NCAA 14 commentary. Um, playing a lot of NCAA lately. And, uh, you know, I think I've played enough of the game where I feel like I can give you my first impressions uh, and my thoughts on the game as we get a nice fumble there. Um, but I'm playing a ranked match here. I'm um, using Ohio State, as always, uh, who else do I use? Uh, it's my team. I'm playing against Texas A&M, Johnny Football. Uh, this dude, I believe, was like 3-0 and at the time of the video. So, uh, you know, he's, he's definitely good. Uh, he's got some nice heat on defense. But uh, other than that, you know, yeah. He, he had a pretty good offense, too. He ran up some bunch quads and a lot of split close. Which uh, was definitely annoying, but it wasn't that hard to stop. I just had some trouble adjusting to it. I knew what I needed to do, but I just didn't do it, I guess. But um, I want to talk about my, my first impressions of the game and, uh, you know, what I think of it. So, first off, um, the gameplay. Uh, the game looks good. The game feels pretty good. Uh, the only thing gameplay-wise that I don't like is the uh, the users on D. I love the fact that ball hawk's gone, but um, they kind of like like the way your players move and the way they react on defense. It's just not. I don't think it's as, as good as I would like it. Uh, then again, it's NCAA. What do you expect? Uh, you know, NCAA is never a perfect game. Actually, no game is really ever a perfect game, but um, you know, NCAA is never ever even close to perfect. So, um, but overall, I, th I like the game better than last year. Um, you know, on offense, uh, I think offense is kind of easy, um, especially like if you if you can make good reads, if you know what you're doing. Um, I've been running on pretty much a lot of gun doubles and uh, like a lot of tray open and, and split close and whatnot. And uh, you know, that's pretty much all I really need. Um, you can see uh, my my main base play is the uh, halfback angle of the gun doubles, and uh, I basically just drag uh, square and I streak the tight end. Um, which brings me to my next uh, thing I want to talk about is the pass lead. Um Two of the most annoying things from Madden 13: tight end seams and wheel routes. Pretty much dead. Um, the tight ends. Um, versus his own, they get open. As you can see, I hit my tight end uh, on a streak a few times this game. Uh, you can pass lead him a little bit, but uh, not over, overpowered like man. Not even close. So um, you know that's good. And uh, wheel routes versus man are absolutely locked up. You cannot run wheels versus man uh, like Madden. You might get one every now and then, but. Uh, where the wheels come into play, as you can see, like I was saying, I hit my tight end deep a few times right here. Um, but where wheels really come in uh, to being effective is versus zone. Uh, they absolutely destroy zone. And right here, man, man p people are already thirsty out here, man. They're already running out of water. Come on. This dude needs an IV. He's about to dehydrate. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, like, I, I just totally lost my train of thought right there for a second. Hold up. Hold up. What was I talking about? Uh, you know, I'm not gonna edit that out. We're, we're gonna we're gonna start a new topic. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about wheel routes versus zone. Uh, wheel route, wheel routes are pretty effective versus zone. Um, you know, especially like the, the play action wide receiver in play, uh, which was a very popular play from Madden this year. I uh, ran that a little bit uh, on the so uh, It's pretty effective. Um, you know, the flanker screen with the you know the uh, running back on a like a swing route or a wheel, still pretty effective. Um, flex swing. I said I've always said like in the NCAA 14 demo that flex swing was just as good as Madden. I don't want to say it's just as good, just because there's not as much variety in it. There's pretty much the dive, the option, and like one pass play that I like out of it. Um, other than that, I mean it's it's pretty one dimensional. It's even more one dimensional than it is in Madden. Um, so I'm, I don't really run a lot. Uh, read options. Uh, pretty easy to stop if you set your um, your option defense to aggressive, which uh, they they play the quarterback and they give up the running back basically. Uh, you know the running back unless you know your opponent's really good and they know how to run an option, you're gonna you're gonna shut it down. Uh, I played a few people who ran options pretty well. This guy had a, a pretty good option game. I uh, ran a lot of triple option though, and less like speed option, but. 
Now, other than that, uh, you know, like a regular read option, it's pretty easy to stop. Uh, you just have to use your uh, fairly decently to uh, stop a lot of options this year. Uh, on defense, that's that's a whole other story. Uh, my defense this year, like I said, my offense is great, but my defense it's pretty suspect right now. Uh, I've been in the lab for like the last two hours uh, working on a few blitzes, and I found some good heat, but uh, the coverage behind it's kind of sketchy. I'm not a huge fan of it right now. So um, I'm debating whether putting those out. I might put a few of the videos out because I have a couple nice blitzes. Uh, I've been running a lot of 3-4, uh, I believe 3-4 under, and uh, some 4-2-5, which are uh, two of my favorite formations this year. Uh, the 4-4 is... <laughs> I heard it was good from a few people, but I don't really like it. I'm not a big fan of it. But, uh, yeah, I might, might put out some tips for you guys uh, later on in this uh, early release um, of NCAA. But, yeah. That's basically all I have for this game. Uh, we get a nice pick right there in the red zone. I'm up 42 to 30, and uh, you know the game's pretty much over. But I throw a pick. Uh, only, only me, right? Only me. Uh, only me. I, I'm the only person who would do that. Um, last thing though, onside kicks they do not work. Don't even waste your time trying to onside. Um, you know, even linebackers pick those up. Hands team isn't even needed anymore. But uh, anyways guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow with another gameplay as we go over some stats. Braxton Miller, 83% uh, completion. Pretty good uh, pretty good day there for uh, Ohio State. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.